Hey guys, Dave Nerona here today, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about suspension, what I use and why I use it, and probably one of the number one things you hear on comments on the internet. So first and foremost, this is a Summit X Turbo 850-165, and I think the best suspension in our lineup, obviously, is the free ride with the piggyback shocks. Now, it just allows the shocks be moved through their movement and not heat up as much. So they tend to, well they do, they uh, perform better longer, especially because they resist heat more. And they're also set a little bit stiffer. And they also have uh, three adjustments, a sort of let's say a soft, medium and hard. So it makes it easy to adjust those. Now I absolutely love that free ride suspension or any piggyback suspension, but really for a rider, for me, it's gonna help me more on the trails. I'm not a big jumper, uh, but going up the trail, I definitely noticed the free ride suspension is the best in our lineup for sure, coming down at the end of the day when the whoops are, are massive. Now, why I don't change my suspension, and we hear it from a lot of riders, is our suspension, uh, the KYB sucks. KYB suspension is some of the best on the planet, and uh, the valving is designed for the sled, and uh, it works awesome. And the truth is that uh, even though the free ride piggyback shocks will be better or I can go faster up the trail, once I'm into my riding season, I get stronger and I can push almost as hard with this, this suspension. And I absolutely love it. And I love riding super deep snow, uh, technical tree riding or open tree riding. Um, and I love it all. And the, this suspension performs awesome. Really don't find that I need to change it but you do need to adjust it for your weight and that we're going to get into that a little bit it is going to be a little bit different in the sense from a from a uh, spring check uh, sled to an in-season sled where you're actually going to need your uh, tool that comes with your machine to set that suspension in the front on the summit x um, you just and, and the expert you just actually turn the spring preload here uh, and it has a one up to over three setting for stiffer. Now, I'm a light rider, I weigh 142 pounds, uh, probably 10 more pounds loaded up with gear, and I literally run these on one. The same is in the rear, you're gonna use the tool to set the uh, spring preload, and it has five settings there. Now, it is important that you kind of, like when you're, when you're in the right range for the spring, then you kind of want to be somewhere in the middle. It gives you lots of play on both sides. If you are a heavier person, I would say over 210 pounds, you're probably going to want to add those heavy duty springs. Because if you are just on level five and at the stiffest, then you're actually right on the edge of your suspension. So you don't have as much adjustment. Putting in stiffer springs will bring you back into the middle where you have more adjustment and that's really important to do. So I've already set the front here just by turning um, the, the coil and this piece up here to one. And then on the back, we're gonna go down to the, um, the back side here where there's an adjustment and there's one on each side and there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just actually gonna set these using my tool on one on both sides well so there you go guys super easy i run one on the front and one on the back i might bump it up to two because as you know i do a lot of sled skiing and so when we put two people on here i've doubled my weight and that'll just keep give us a little more stiffness in the rear of the snowmobile so again hopefully that makes it nice and easy for you to adjust your suspension and make it ideal for you. It's also something you can play with. You can try it a little stiffer, try it a little softer, and see what is ideal for you. Hopefully that helps. Put any comments or uh, suggestions in down below, and we'll see you out in the PAL.